Okay, geometry students, in this video we are going to be looking at a special addition to a triangle, and this special addition is called the median. We will also be looking at one theorem, and this theorem is about the median of a triangle. Okay? And then we will apply this theorem to some math problems today. Okay? So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Here's your heading for today. Median of a triangle. Okay, copy that in your notes, please. Median of a triangle. Less than 4.6, and be sure and include today's date. Okay? Median of a triangle, less than 4.6, and be sure and include today's date. I'll pause just a second while you copy that down. All right, let's continue on. Now, let's start off with the definition of a median, okay? You are responsible for this definition, so make sure that you write this down and you do need to know this for upcoming tests and quizzes. So here we go. Median of a triangle. Now the median of a triangle is a segment drawn from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay? I'm going to pause a second while you copy this down. The median of a triangle is a segment that is drawn from the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now this definition might not mean a lot to you, but I'm going to give you a picture of it in just a second, okay? So copy this down, and if you don't understand it, just relax. I will give you a picture of it in just a second. Okay, here we go. Please draw this triangle in your notes if you would, please. Draw this triangle, okay? There we go. Draw a triangle that looks something like this, okay? Now please watch carefully, students. I will help you if you will let me help you, okay? Here's what a median is. Draw this carefully, please. See this side right here? Estimate where the midpoint is. I'm going to estimate the midpoint is about right here. And then draw a line from this vertex to this point here. Here we go. There we go. That is the median of a triangle. So it's a segment that runs from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay? And let's continue on. Why don't you go ahead and draw another median? Okay, be really careful now. Let's go ahead and estimate where the midpoint would be here. And by the way, there's a reason that I want you to draw all three medians. Trust me. There's a reason, okay? So estimate where the midpoint is and go ahead and draw another median. So we'll start here. Go like this. Okay? And let's draw the other median like this. So estimate where the other uh, midpoint would be, which is about right here. And then we'll draw that median. Not a very good job, huh? Now, students, please listen to me. Do you see what a median is? Do you notice that every triangle has how many medians? Three. Make note of that, okay? Every triangle has three medians. This is so easy, students. All you do is you pick the midpoint of a side and then draw a line from that midpoint to the vertex across. That's all that you have to do, okay? Now, I know your drawings are not going to be perfect. In fact, more than likely, your lines are not intersecting at one point, but they're supposed to. So make if your lines kind of look like this, like that, then make a really big point so it looks like they intersect in the same place, okay? But all three of these lines are supposed to intersect in one point. And I want you to put a point there. And then write this word in your notes, okay? Write this word in your notes. This point where all three medians intersect is called the centroid of the triangle, okay? You need to know that. Now, I'm going to give you a definition of centroid in just a second, okay? So you have to copy that down. You will have to know it for tests and quizzes. You will have to know it. 
But for now, I'm just trying to give you a picture of it, okay? So do you see what the centroid is? The centroid is where all three medians intersect, okay? So let's pause it. Let's review, okay? What is the median? A median is when you put the midpoint on the side like this and then draw a line from the vertex over. This line right here is called the median, okay? Now, when you've drawn all three medians, they should intersect at one point. They always will. And that one point is called the centroid, okay? I'm just going to pause for a second while you guys get caught up on your notes here. Make sure you're taking really good notes, students, okay? Okay, everybody got this? It's very important you understand this, okay? All right, let's continue on. Now, notice that all three medians intersected at one point. That point is called the centroid. Here's the official definition uh, that you need to know. And you do need to know this definition. Here it is. Please copy this in your notes. The centroid is the point where all three medians of a triangle intersect. The centroid is the point where all three medians of a triangle intersect. Please copy that definition in your notes. You need to know that, okay? It's very important. You need to know that. Centroid is the point where all three medians intersect. Okay, now continuing on. This term centroid leads us to a theorem. And here is this theorem. And obviously, like all the theorems we've learned, you need to know this theorem for future tests and quizzes, okay? So please copy this theorem in your notes. Now here's the theorem. Theorem 4-9. The medians of a triangle intersect at the centroid. Now, we knew that already. We already knew that, okay? The medians of a triangle intersect at the centroid. Now, students, what is special about the centroid? Well, the centroid is a point that is located at two-thirds of the length of a median. Now, I'm going to give you a picture of that later and explain that a lot better, okay? But for now, just write that down. The med theorem 4 9. The medians of a triangle intersect at the centroid, and the centroid is a point that is located at two thirds of the length of a median. Copy that down, then we'll talk about it. The medians of a triangle intersect at the centroid, a point that is located at two thirds of the length of a median. Okay, please copy that down. The medians of a triangle intersect at the centroid, a point that is located at two-thirds of the length of a median. Alright, here we go. Now, let me show you what this means. Please, please take some really good notes, okay? Um, first of all, students, if you don't want to draw this picture in your notes, I totally understand that. So just simply write page 208, example 2. So go ahead and write that in your notes if you want to. Or you can draw the picture if you want to. It's totally up to you. Page 208, example number 2. Now, E is the centroid of triangle ABC. Okay? <clears throat> e is the centroid. Okay, copy this down. And DA is 27. Okay, copy that down. Find EA and find DE. Now, if you will listen to me, students, and let me teach you, I will show you very easily how to solve these problems. But they are not easy. Uh, but you, if you take really good notes, I can help you. So please watch this carefully, okay? Now, what median are we talking about? Well, we're talking about DA, EA, and DE. So obviously, we're talking about this median right here. DE, DA, EA, this median here. Okay? So, first of all, ignore the other medians, okay? Second of all, please do this, students. Please do this every time. Every time you're given a problem in which you're dealing with lengths of medians, look what we do. Please take some really good notes. Watch. Here's the centroid, right? Here's the median that we're dealing with. Now watch what I do. Notice 
that wherever the centroid is, there will always be a shorter median, a shorter part of the median, and a longer part. Does everybody see that? That's true for every single median. Look at the other two medians. This median right here, this is the shorter part, this is the longer part, okay? This is the median here, this is the shorter part, this is the longer part. Every median will be like that, okay? So here's what you do. Always take the longer part and cut it in half. Always put a mark right here, always. Always take the longer part of the median and cut it in half. And do you know what you've done now? This is so cool. You have created three equal lengths. This length here is the same as this length here is the same as this length here. That is so helpful. Let's go over that again, okay? First of all, always find out what median you're dealing with. Now, in this case, we're dealing with median TA, okay? So after you know what median you're dealing with, like this one here, then take the longer part, this part here, cut it in half, right in half. And when you do that, you will then have three equal parts. That is so helpful. Now come over here and look what you have. They're telling you DA is 27. So this whole length is how long? 27. They tell you that. So look guys, we've taken 27 and we've divided it up into three equal lengths. So if you take 27 and divide it by what? 3, you get what? 9. So we know this length here is how long? 9. This length here is how long? 9. This length here is how long? 9. Are you saying, Mr. Earhart, that that's all that this theorem is saying back here? That's exactly what I'm saying, guys. That's all this theorem is saying back here, okay? That's it. So, now that we've divided this thing up in 999, let's answer our two questions. What's the length of EA? Now, E starts here and goes all the way to A. So that's 9 and 9. So EA is 18. Now, what's the length of DE? Well, D starts here and goes to here. This length here. Well, that's a length of what? 9. That easy. Okay? It's not that difficult. So if you really pay attention and take some really good notes, we can do these, okay? They're known to be a little difficult, but if you follow these steps I've given you, you should be okay, all right? Okay, moving on. Now you're welcome to copy this triangle in your notes if you want to, or you can just write down page 208, example 3, whatever you want to do. I'm going to pause a second while you copy all this down, and if you want to, also feel free to copy this triangle too, okay? I'm going to pause a second. Uh, while wow, you guys copy this down. P is the centroid of this triangle. Page 208, example number 3. If you want to open your books, you can. It's up to you. We're going to try to find the length of RT, okay? All right, here's what you do. Step one, decide what medium we're talking about. Well, we're dealing with RP and RT. So it must be this median here, okay? There we go. Step one, always decide what medium we're dealing with, okay? Now that we've done that, find the longer part of the median. Well, here's the centroid. This is the shorter part. This is the longer part here. Take the longer part and divide it into half. Here we go. Cut it in half. There we go. Now we have three equal parts. One, two, three. Look at that. So easy. Now let's look at what they gave us. They tell us that RP is 10. So from here to here, RP is 10. So if RP is 10, then that means this part here is 5, this part here is 
5, and this part here is 5. Isn't that easy? It's not that hard, okay? So find the length of RT, the entire length, okay? Well, from R all the way to T, that's going to be 5, 5, 5. So the answer is going to be 15. Okay, are you getting the hang of this? It's not that hard, guys, as long as you'll first establish the median you're dealing with. And then secondly, take the longer part of the median and cut it in half. And then you'll have three equal lengths for that one median, okay? All right, let's continue on. Again, you're welcome to copy this triangle in your notes, or you can write down your notes page 209, number 4 at the top, whatever you want to do. Okay? Page 209, number 4 at the top. Or you can copy this down, or you can do both if you want to. I'll give you just a minute to do that. Okay, step one, we're going to decide what medium we're dealing with, okay? Well, it says up here to find BE, ED, BD, so it looks like we're dealing with this median right here, okay? Easy enough. Now, next, after you know what median you're dealing with, take the longer part of the median, which is not this part here. It's this part here and cut that part in half. Cut it in half, we'll put a line here. There we go. So now we have an equal part here, equal to this segment, equal to this segment. So we have three equal segments, okay? Now they tell us uh, BD is 24, so the whole length is 24. So we're gonna take that 24 and divide it by three. So we have eight, eight, Eight. Now let's find BE. Well, BE runs from here to here. So BE would be 8 plus 8. BE would be 16. Okay? Now, let's find the length of ED. Well, ED runs from here to here. And so that looks pretty obvious to me. That's going to be a length of 8. So segment ED would have a length of 8. Okay? So again, not too bad. Let's go over this again. Step 1, find the median that you're dealing with. Okay? Step 2, Take the longer part and divide it by two. Okay? Or divide it into two segments, two equal segments. Let me rephrase that. Take the longer part and divide it into two equal parts. Okay? All right, moving on. Again, you can copy this in your notes if you want to. This triangle here, or you're welcome to just put this in your notes, or you can do both if you want to, okay? Page 209, number 5 at the top. Page 209, number 5 at the top. And here we go. Okay, I'm going to move on now, students, so pause the video if you need to. We're going to move on, okay? Okay, we're dealing with JG... K, G, J, K. So all of these letters are on this median here. So there's the median we're dealing with, okay? Got it? Now, find the longer median. The longer part was this part here, and cut it in half. There we go. So now we have three equal segments. One, two, three. Okay? All right, what do they tell us? JK is 4. So, this segment here, JK is what? 4. So if this segment is 4, then this segment here is 4, and this segment here is 
four. There we go. Okay. Now they want us to find J G. Okay. So J G equals. Okay. Here it is. J G is the whole segment from J all the way to G. Okay. So we'd have four plus four plus four. The answer would be twelve. There it is. Now they also want us to find segment KG. Okay? KG. Where's K? Going all the way to G. So this segment here. Well, that segment there has 4 and 4. So the answer would be 8. Okay? And again, I hope this is making sense. If you'll follow uh, these couple easy steps I'm giving you, they'll really work. And they'll work every time. Okay? If you'll follow these steps. Let's look at one more problem, then we're done with the video for today. Okay, one more problem. <clears throat> Again, you're welcome to copy this in your notes. And you're also welcome to uh, put this in your notes, uh, either one of these or both. It's up to you. Okay, page 209, number 6 at the top. Page 209, number 6 at the top. And if you want to work ahead, feel free to do that, okay, students? No problem with that. Now, if I'm going too fast, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And if I'm going too fast, just go ahead and pause the video, okay? Let's first of all decide what medium we're dealing with. Well, we're dealing with PQ, PN, and QN, okay? So it looks like to me, we're dealing with this median right here, okay? All right, so step one is done. We've decided what medium we're dealing with. Now step two, here's the centroid. Find the longer part of that median. What's this part right here? Cut that in half, okay? So now I have three equal segments. One, two, three, okay? Now they tell you QN is 20. So from Q right here, all the way to N, this segment here is 20. Okay, so let's take 20, and because we're dealing with two segments here, we're going to take 20 and divide it by 2, and that'll give us a 10 here and a 10 here. And also, if these segments here are 10 each, then this segment here would also be 10. Okay, so there we go. Now, they want us to find PQ, okay? PQ. Well, here's PQ from here to here. Here to here. That would be 10, okay? And then they ask us to find PN. So, PN, that's from here all the way to here. The entire length of the whole median. Well, that would be 10, 10, and 10. So the entire length of PN would be 30. Okay? Us uh, students, once again, for the third or fourth time, if you'll use these steps, decide what medium we're dealing with, and then divide the longer part into two equal segments. The rest of the problem should really, really fall into place for you, okay? It really, really should. Alright, I hope this has been a help to you. Uh, call or email if you have any questions. And let's quickly review here. You are responsible to know uh, the definition of the median of a triangle right here. You are responsible to know the definition of a centroid. You are responsible to know Theorem 4.9. Okay? Alright guys, uh, call or email if you have any questions.